so this is the next paragraph paragraph 2 which says treatment of compound o the compound o is given here with kmno4 and h plus gave p when kmno4 and h plus react with this it gives us dicarboxylic acid so o on reaction with kmno4 and h plus gives us dicarboxylic acid which on treatment with nh3 gave q the compound q on treatment with br2 and naoh produced r on strong heating q gave s which on further treatment with ethyl 2 bromo propanoate in the presence of koh followed by acidification gave a compound t the question number 35 says the compound r is let us form the compound r we have this compound which is compound o o when reacts with kmno4 in acidic medium it give us a carboxylic acid dicarboxylic acid which is thalic acid cwh group is present at both the position now when it reacts with ammonia amide will be formed according to the question o on treatment with kmno4 and h plus gives us p and p on reaction with ammonia gives us q so this is p and this is our q q on reaction with naoh and br2 gives us r so this is hoffman bromamide degradation reaction so we have br2 and naoh hoffman bromamide degradation reaction results in the formation of amine so nh2 group will be present here and here at both the position this is our r so the correct answer for this question is option a now let's move to the question number 36 So this is the next question the compound T is glycine alanine valine and serine the four options we have So in this case Q gave S so Q compound was halamide which on strong heating removes ammonia resulting in the formation of thalamine so this is our compound q and this is our compound s when an s reacts with ethyl 2 bromo propanoate in the presence of koh followed by acidification gave a compound t so after the reaction of s we used 2 bromo ethyl propanoate so what will happen the nucleophilic substitution reaction will take place the this reaction will take place after the reaction of koh with this nh the koh will neutralize this will take this acidic hydrogen and make it a better nucleophile so nucleophilic substitution reaction will take place and the product form will be this which on hydrolysis or acidification gives us thalic acid again 
and along with thalic acid the product formed is CH3 CH NH2 CWH this is alanine which is product T so the compound T is alanine so correct answer for this question is option B so this was the last question for J advanced question 2016 and this is all about today's discussion all the best students for the results thank you